was scary. Your kids are always prepared to do things before you are prepared. We trusted her because we are firm believers in this least restrictive environment because it's always worked. She had two older sisters who went away to college and had careers and she expected that kind of thing too and she always wanted to do something outside of home. I was about to die walking down the aisle. In each case where we've trusted her opinion over, over ours, it's always worked out. You got some examples? Well, and when she has made a mistake in making a wrong decision about something, she's learned from it and she has changed her mind or she's uh, grown up from that. <laughs> Every parent has to face moving from having control to having influence and uh, recognizing your child as an adult. And that is psychologically difficult because you just don't want to do that but because they're young. <laughs> but, but still, uh, if you mess that up, the consequences are pretty severe. She's going to be around for 30 years when we are not. And uh, it's better if you help them to prepare for that situation. They also gave us time to work through several months of meetings and them explaining step by step how they were going to work with Vicki and Walter to teach them how to do the more things independently. And that was reassuring. So she got tired of the meetings. We didn't get tired of the meetings. Uh, but she says, do we have to have another meeting? <laughs> Why do we have to have another meeting? <laughs> but but we we saw the advantage of each one of those because it went over those. But, they, but I'm sure that to her, they, they went over um, things in excruciating detail. I have no qualms about how she's going to be uh, able to uh, get along after we're gone. And uh, before, there were always those problems. Of what, you know, questions, you know, well, what happens when we're not there? Or even before we're not here, when we get feeble and <laughs> we're essentially not here. <laughs> because that's, you know that that's going to happen first. <laughs> it gives you a a feeling of, you know, you've prepared her and uh, you've done all you can do. You have to trust the opinions of others like Emory Valley who have worked with her and in some ways know her even better than us. And uh, when they assure you that they feel she can accomplish something, it does help a lot. They assured us that it was feasible and that uh, she, she wouldn't just be moving out into just totally unsupported environment uh, and that uh, they felt that she could handle it. I think as parents you have a uh, a biased viewpoint that is not accurate and it is helpful to have people who have an independent view who are able to guide you. And, and their confidence in both Walter and Vicki and the possibilities gave me confidence that I didn't have and made me feel much better about letting them try something. And we've seen that their confidence was well placed. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's worked better than I ever expected, it really has. The more we've seen of Walter, the more we think that he is a big factor in her being able to handle it. He has really stepped up and and been some of the things that Vicki lacks, he's provided. He provided some of the skills that she yeah. doesn't have. We brought them home the other night, and uh, you know they could just get out of the car and come in and unlock the door and go in, where before when we would take her home, if the, if the staff happened not to be there and there'd been a miscommunication and they were later, we'd have to wait. She couldn't just go in on her own to her own house. And it, I thought how much that must mean to her to be able to just unlock the door and go in. I can see growth already in how they adjust to things and work with things and uh, 
it just it means a lot. There have been fewer problems. I think she is happier than she she was. One of the things she tells people she likes the best about living out is that it's so quiet. And, <laughs> and she only had two roommates, but she, it's so quiet and I can take a nap when I want to. Trust your kid. Mm -hmm. They can't ever make decisions on their own unless they have the chance to try.